Hey, Pisces. I hope you all are radiating that positive of energy at this time. Let's hop into it, Pisces. Let's get a universal message with this more knowledge of death. All right, let's see. What is the universal message here for Pisces on the soul's journey? Last quarter moon in Virgo. Attend to the details. Okay, Pisces, pay attention to the details. It ain't always what you can see. Some things you can miss. You got to read the fine print, Pisces. Okay. Last quarter moon in Virgo. Attend to the details. So that's the guidance here on the soul's journey. The universe wants you to pay attention. Pay attention to the big picture. Everything is not what it seems. Okay. If you move too fast, you may miss something. Pay attention. All right. So let's hop into it, Pisces. Let's collect the energy of your person. And let's see how they're feeling about you when it comes to love, romance, and relationships. What's going on here? We got the Knight of Cups. We have the Page of Pentacles. Ooh, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, we got the page of swords. Okay, Pisces. <laughs> What's crossing this person's energy is the seven of pentacles. All right. So your person feeling like they tired of waiting. This person tired of waiting. Right. They ready to come in and make you a solid offer in love. Right. They ready to change the way things been going. They want to have a conversation because they viewing things different now with that page of swords. It's like they clearing the air around the situation with you too, and they ready to talk about it because you know they still feel good about this situation. Things are changing within their heart, within their feelings, right? They ready to invest and they tired of waiting to make you an offer. Okay. This person wants to come in and make you an offer of love here, a solid offer here. With the Knight of Cups, this may have been someone who you know, wasn't really sure what they wanted to do. One minute they may want to, you know, act like we're in a relationship. The next minute it could have been something different. But right now they're ready to step in and make you a solid offer here with the Ten of Pentacles. It's like this person ready to grow up. Okay, all these pages, nights, you know, they're ready to grow up. Or this could just be someone where there's an age difference, okay? Let me try to slide this over a little more and make sure everything in there, okay? But at the end of the day, whoever this person is, they want to make you an offer here. They want to come out and let you know how they feel, how much they want to commit to you, all the pinnacles. They want to commit. They want something solid, a strong foundation based off of love and truth, right? And some form of spiritual presence. This is like faded, Right. The wheel, it also speaks of fate, something that's meant to happen, something that's supposed to happen. Right. So whoever this person is, they're supposed to be loving on you at this time. OK. And they coming in with that love offer and also to kind of, you know, enjoy this time, enjoy what you all build. Right. So this is somebody who wants something to last. OK. What else comes with this Knight of Pentacles? OK. This person want success. They want a victory out of this connection, right? They want to win here. They not come into play. Like I said, the, the, the energy is young or, you know, was immature at one point, but I feel like this is somebody who's stepping up and taking responsibility for what they feel in their heart, right? We may have not been solid in the past we may have you know had that little up and down energy about this situation but right now i'm ready to have a victory with you you know i want something stable with you i want i want you to see me as someone you could build with someone you could be with right so what is this offer outside of love what is this stability here with the page of pentacles okay this person tired of juggling around the idea of should I, you know, commit to Pisces? Should we move forward? Or, you know, is we cool just, you know, being on the level that we own, 
right? I feel like this person wants to take responsibility over their happiness. This person is starting to take responsibility over their life. And if I if I got all these emotions for you and I, I'm consistent with you, rather I'm back and forth, why not just make it official? OK, so this is somebody who just want to make it official and have a victory out of this and stop juggling the idea. And let's go ahead and do it. Let's get serious. OK, so this that's the offer they, they want to offer you. Right. Otherwise, you know, I might as well go. On. You know, it's like this person saying if they ready now, I don't know the real backstory, but they ready now. They ready to come in and offer you love. This person ready for commitment. They ready to have a victory with you. They tired of juggling and playing around. They ready to take responsibility over this relationship. They ready to put their big girl panties or put their big boy boots on and go ahead and, and, and commit and let's do it. Otherwise, you know, it's going to fall apart. Otherwise, we might as well separate because at the end of the day, they want it now. What's crossing that? Right. They want this new beginning. OK, what is this tower, though? Let's just see. What is this tower for Pisces person? It's the two of cups. OK. Hmm. So what they saying here, Pisces, with the tower to the two of cups? Is that they tired of juggling the idea, right? They want to eliminate the juggle part and create. They want to take away the back and forth energy. The I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and be more confident in knowing. So this person wants to stop playing around. Stop running back and forth. Let's just do it. And build this relationship here. Right? So the tower simply represents, I'm tired of playing. I'm ready to bring an end to all the back and forth energy. And go ahead and create this new relationship with you. Let's build from here. Right? Let's just put the past behind us. Whatever we've been doing, that's over. Let's get real. Let's get serious. Okay? Let's change the way we are. Let's do something that's going to be beneficial to us. Right? This is faded. You guys are supposed to be together here, right? Seven of wands in reverse with the wheel of fortune. Okay. This person is ready. This person is opened up to you, Pisces. Somebody's about to be opening up to you and express it to you what they feel and what they want moving forward here in this relationship with you. And that's what the communication is about, right? This is someone that you may surrender to, too, as well, right? So with the Wheel of Fortune, Three of Cups. This person wants nothing more than to have you, than you to accept them. That's what's going to make them happy. That feels like a victory. That's something worth celebrating. This is our new engagement day, right? This is the day we became official. This is the day we became a couple. This is the day we put a label on it. So let's toast to that. Let's enjoy this moment. Let's party. Let's have fun, right? So this person feels like... I don't know. They excited. They got this, this, like, I, I feel comfortable enough to let my guard down and go ahead and, and just be free with it. Right. They just being free with it. They want to talk about the future. Okay. That's what this person wants to talk about Pisces. That's what they want to communicate with you. They want you to see the future, how they see it. They want you to be able to see yourself happy with them. The Empress. They want you to relax and let go. They want you to open up too. They want you to go with the flow of this situation. They know you want it. That's what I hear them saying. I know you want me. Right? They want you too. They value you. They respect you. Right? They love you. Okay, you like the woman of their life right now. You the one who they see a future with. You the one they want to have a serious, committed relationship with. You the one that they want to celebrate with, have fun with, 
you know, like family, friend. You, you're not only going to be my lover, you're going to be my friend too, right? You are the one who they value. You're the one they want to take care of. You're the one they want to give their heart to, right? After a, a couple of ups and downs, what's crossing the energy is the king of swords. The king of swords is all about the facts. And this person is for sure that you are their person. There's no doubt about it. You the one for me. And that's just how they feel, Pisces. So that's the energy. Somebody about to be, uh, I was about to say propose to you, but something's about to get serious. You're about to get in a serious relationship with somebody you've been playing around with. It's about to get real. All right. So let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity to see what chakra needs to be worked on or to simply get an inspirational quote that we can say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, today we have the second chakra and it's the sacral chakra. And this one is relevant to reward myself. I know that I am truly worthy and deserve to receive the good things in life and I give myself permission to have them. It is time to enjoy the fruits of my labor. I aim to incorporate and embrace fun and joy in my life. I realize that all work and no play is a recipe for energy flow disruption and exhaustion. I allow myself to experience and receive more pleasure in my life, and I am flexible and open to change. I am receptive to embracing activities and events that come my way, even those I may have avoided in the past. So reward myself is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.